Well, hello again there, Blade fans. This old sword, back once again with another Hogue. Made in the USA. Yes, sir. A fine knife company consistently making their blades in the U.S. I think that is a commendable and upstanding thing. Not that knives from the rest of the world are necessarily bad, but um, good to see quality coming out of the U.S. So, what do we have? The Hogue EX-02. And I had previously shown this in a all Hogue knife review, along with the, I believe, EX-01, EX-03, EX-04, etc. The EX stands for the Extreme Series. This one is a drop point, a beefy blade, it's a big knife. It's tall in the handle and tall in the blade. Uh, not extremely long blade. It's 3.75 inches. I'm out at Blade HQ, and I'm going to thank them ahead for their specs, which are usually concise and accurate. So rather than measure it up on camera, we're going to go with these. We've got a blade steel of a 154 cm. Not CPM 154, but the older variety of 154 CM. We have an overall length of 8.75 inches, 3.75 inch blade, cutting edge of 3.625, blade thickness of 0.15 or 4 millimeters, Rockwell hardness 57 to 59. As I said, it's a drop point. It's a flat grind. It has a black blade finish. And uh, the frame liner is stainless steel. As is, uh, I was going to say, as is the pommel. We'll talk about that later. I think that's aluminum. It's designed by Alan Elishowitz, the one and only. And uh, it is a liner lock, unlike some of its brethren, which are plunge locks and autos. This is manual and this is a liner lock. The clip is right hand only. We'll take a look at that and verify in a moment. The weight is a hefty, hefty 7.08 ounces, but it does handle extremely well. We have a G green G-Mascus G10. And I believe that's it. So thanks for bearing with me through all of the stats. It saves me the trouble of having to bungle around on camera. But let's take a closer look at the EX-02. It is a drop point blade, spear point if you will, with a slight swedge at the top. With the Hogue branding on the swedge, which is an interesting thing. There is your USA, Made in USA mark. Elishowitz design. And 154 CM steel. It is an interesting design compared to the others in the EX series. It's built entirely differently. Notice no plunge lock there. It's a liner lock, and let me tell you, it's under some pressure. <laughs> When this thing opens and closes, I'm just going to take it off camera near the mic for a second. See if I can get it to snap. That's your snap open. And your snap closed. So, uh, big old hefty knife. I'll give you a real quick comparison to the Benchmade Boost I've been carrying. Boost looks kind of small next door to it, although the blade's about the same length. And another quick comparison of a large knife, Ontario Rat 1. And again, you can see about the same blade length, about the same handle length, but the uh, EX-02 is such a tall knife or wide knife however you want to deem that. I don't think they gave the handle thickness, so let's do that real quick. 
yeah, 0.65 inches, so pretty broad across the beam. Got some interesting jimping down in here on the uh, liner. Doesn't really give you any traction, it's more a design thing. You got your lanyard pin up top, and you have this interesting spear point pommel, kind of a broad spear point that as near as I can tell is aluminum. It's cold to the touch. You can see a little, uh, there's a little bit of wearing of the black and it shines underneath here and there because I have used this a bit and carried it. But that is a very effective pommel. The ergos on this knife are absolutely great. The reason I chose to keep the clip up on the pivot side is simply that it carries deeper. When you move that clip to the pommel side, you got some of that pommel sticking out. And I just prefer it this way. Obviously the user has the choice. It's an interesting built up on pins or pillars kind of a pocket clip and it holds snug while removing drawing from the pocket very easily. You have the typical almost standard double lock which in this case instead of blocking the plunge lock blocks that liner from going across so you've got a veritable fixed blade once you do that and this guy is kind of like a fixed blade nice jimping here not overly aggressive good enough Good thick stock, four millimeters. And that really nice G Mascus G10. This is a knife I would bring out in the woods, camping, survivalist. It locks up like a drum. Again, with that double lock, it's a veritable fixed blade. And uh, very useful ergos on the point. Not frail at all. The angle where, where this comes together here is fine enough for detail work. While at the same time, um, very effective piercer. And it ain't going to break on you, most likely. Grind stops about midway. It's not really tall. Um, I put a KME edge on this, so it's got the sharpness that I want. Got some good bite. Um, definitely a good working edge the way that I've got it set up. I pretty much followed the original factory bevel and just trued it up. Take another look around. Again, that clip will go on the butt end. You've got a heck of a guard here that keep you from sliding forward. It is pronounced. And this will not drop shut by any means. It's on washers. There they are, bronze washers. If you want it out all in one move, give it a little wrist because it is not going to do it well, very good. I take that back. <laughs> With a little energy, one, one flip. So we're good in that department. Not an overly long blade, but a good sized blade. Again, good working knife. Um, you know, this could be a police, tactical, military, what have you. Knife. Um, just very strong steel frame. So we're not doing carbon fiber or G10 entirely on one side. We've got an inner frame all the way through. Got about a two-thirds back spacer, back strap. And again, that nice detail jimping in there. And your lanyard pin. So I believe that takes us to the end of this review. I'm happy to be able to showcase this particular Hogue knife, the EXO2.
by Alan Aleshowitz. Hope you give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be back with more reviews. So long and signing out.